that? Do you think God is about it? I am okay with you buying things that is edgy, but not things that promote satin or drugs. <laughs> not satin. <laughs> I don't care what anyone thinks either, but I know I can. Clothes do in some ways define you. It tells what you like. Your style is your personality. Your personality is you. Does it bother you that I think you praise satin? <laughs> not God. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if you think that, you can continue to. <laughs> oh my god, really? I love you and will pray for you. And, by the way, I prefer silk. <laughs> a person that is a satin worshiper would not wear a hat that Jesus go on in. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Is that three times with the same spelling error? Hang on. Satin or drugs? <laughs> Praise satin. And then a satin worshiper. <laughs> Mom, after they told you specifically that they prefer wor worshiping silk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's up, my bearded and weirdos? One topic here, and today we're diving back into r slash insane parents. And it has been a wonderfully, wonderfully, blissfully long time since we've gone back into the subreddit. <laughs> I thought we'd give it a break for a little while because some of the stories got a little bit specific. And I was like, eh, you know what? I feel like not diving into that headspace for a little while, but you know what? We're gonna go back into it today. We're gonna see what all the parents are doing. And I know if we go through this subreddit together, we'll be okay by the end of it. And we'll have some good conversations along the way. <laughs> all right, let's get started. This is your mother. I've created yet another Instagram account just to tell you that Santa equals Satan. Tree is a ritual. Carols and fairy tales, invocation. Midnight Mass, child sacrifice. And also a pretty good show on Netflix. I don't know if you've seen it. Midnight Mass, it was enjoyable. It's nice to have on in the background while you wash dishes. <laughs> but like one jump scare every 45 minute episodes, eh, you know, need more jump scares. <laughs> Gifts, offering to demonic gods. To children. What? <laughs> Are the demonic gods children? Oh no. <laughs> Target sells predominantly agenda with corpse or corporations, otherwise known as corpses. Logo on the rooftops and red balls to assure you participate in their child sacrifice rituals. What does that mean? <laughs> Walmart equals future FEMA. Well, that's not even like a fun breakdown of the word like Santa, Satan. Walmart is just a future camp. Come on now. <laughs> Are we clear? No Santa, no gifts, no satanic bullets. <laughs> oh, mom, now I can see why you're blocked. <laughs> no, is anyone teaching their children about thief? Iron? Everything they see, watch, read is over inundated with the globe space heliocentric theory. Oh no, is that what we're doing today? Earth be round equals bad? Oh no. <laughs> All comments. I do even bought a flatness bottle on entry. No globes in our home. Oh, F-E flat earth. <laughs> NWO, new woke order. We do not consent. I would rather my child be awake. Let him go to bed. <laughs> Why do you want him to be awake? Then have a master's degree at Harvard University. I mean, if you let them get some sleep, maybe they will get that Harvard University degree. What the fuck? We let him go to sleep. Okay. I have several issues with this. <laughs> Why do they include the big thumbs up in the image? It's not silly. It's not like a YouTube video where you could say, hey, everyone, don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe in this video. One topic is very seriously and specifically stating right now. Please subscribe on this specific video right now. Click on that subscribe button. Click on it. Click on it. It's like that, but in the meme. Now the joke's super meta. <laughs> is anyone teaching their kids flat earth? I finally pulled my tenure out of public school, but they indoctrination has been done. She's a great critical thinker, but I notice a few things she's 100% set on, and Brown Earth is one. What? Why? <laughs> I can't even explain it myself to my husband. Maybe that's a good sign that you shouldn't be explaining this, but people who've done their research on actual science should. Maybe. Maybe like scientists, F.E. theorists, if you will. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, R.E. No, R.E. theorists, if you will. 
<laughs> I send him memes, but he doesn't believe either, although he has the Bible memorized, so that may help me. Yay! <laughs> My kids were easy to flip. The one is 12, and I had her convinced after... Oh, please. I also follow this guy from Regina, Saskatchewan. Proof the moon is less than 50 miles away. <laughs> I have to say, as wonderful as Canada can be, there will still be individuals who fall in a bit of an educational crack. Not everyone from Canada is going to be brilliant. I'm sorry, you can't listen to everyone that says proof the moon is less than 50 miles away. Please! From Saskatchewan and using miles? Get out of here. That's your first warning sign. <laughs> Just for fun, couple of selfies. I think I look pretty good in these. Ho ho ho! So attractive, attractive, attractive. When you wear a dress, but in the other hand, my daughter, you were a. My daughter? What? <laughs> no! It's... Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, no. Thank you so much. Love you, Dad. <sighs> This is just how they communicate with each other. This is fine. Different families are different. Don't judge. But... <laughs> mm. Okay. Hi! I'm looking for preschool recommendations that don't try to preach woke ideology. Example, teaching kids about sexuality, gender, racism, etc. Wait, what? Like the basic foundational thoughts to thinking that your fellow person is a human? Like, what? Why would you not want them to... <sighs> It's not woke for kids to have sex ed, please. <laughs> Etc. I know this is a touchy subject, so feel free to just message me if you don't want to comment. Ask a neighbor to anyone. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, because some of the neighbors are mad. <laughs> I can't think of any racist and sexist daycares. Maybe in Texas? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you think that. Okay. All right. At least people. <laughs> When someone is roasting you on Facebook, <laughs> they get more hearts than your original post. I think you done goofed. <laughs> Normally, Facebook would be on the side of the person making a post like this, but I, I'm, that's funny. I like that. Maybe rethink this one, mom and or dad. <laughs> I just want to vent here since no one is really helping me feel better. I understand my daughter is sad that her mom is gone. And it's been three months. But as a full-time stepmom, it gets extremely frustrating and exhausting when she takes it out on me and her dad. We are totally understanding when she is sad, but when she is mad, I really, truly hate it. The crying is getting to me too. Please don't tell me I have to understand she is going through because I do because I didn't have my dad in my life and I know it's different for me a bit. Thank you for letting me vent. Heart, heart, goat. Okay. <laughs> I need a little bit of context on this. Hang on a sec. The child in question is only four years old and grieving. This four-year-old's mom passed away. Oh, and it's only been three months? Fam, you can let a kid be sad. You know, uh, hopefully someone steps in and helps that kid. That's the good that I think that can come out of this is that when parents out themselves online is having these weak points where they're not super strong at educating their children that things are going to be OK, that other parents can step in and say, hey, actually, um, maybe <laughs> maybe ease up. The kid's four. <laughs> so hopefully they get a little <laughs> guys see the comments on the bottom left, the very worried emote holding a heart and then the angry face. <laughs> Okay, so at least a number of people are there to say, um, maybe we should check you on this. <laughs> I don't think all hope is lost in this one. I think they just need, I think they just need help being a parent. After spending seven weeks doing my online degree, I'm now officially a qualified homeschool teacher. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, uh, mm. <laughs> maybe they have some other education that I'm not aware of, but only seven weeks to learn how to become a teacher? That's not enough time. No. As most of you know, I had to vocate it out of regular public school due to them flat out refusing to accept that my son is not vaccinated and continuing to shove their concerns in my face. Constant letters and meetings over my parenting? Well, no thanks. He's my child, not yours. I know exactly what is best for him and how his body and mind work. <laughs> Uh, uh. And now I'm going to do a better job teaching him than your joke of an education system could ever do. Fellow moms. <laughs> okay. All right. 
So this was my mom voice, apparently. <laughs> I thought as I was reading this, I've read a number of posts from mom so far. Let me just switch up the voices a little bit. And then, <laughs> so that's, that is today's mom voice, apparently. <laughs> We're going to stick with it. <laughs> Fellow moms, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and the well-being of your children. Having once been a child myself, I think there are different things you could do to best set up your kid for success in life. One of them being ensuring that they have as much exposure to social situations as possible. Public schools are amazing for this. There is a hierarchy of individuals. There's tough situations that people have to deal with, and they have to find their place by also discovering who they are and not knocking anyone who does a really great job of educating their kids from home. But I, I, some, ah. <laughs> seven weeks feels just a little tight, just a little bit for homeschooling. I don't know. None of the courses I took in university were that short, and I didn't have the amazing task of molding a young mind. <laughs> also, please get your shots if you can. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> My daughter believes that the earth is round. How do I help her? She's being lied to. And everything is on fire. <laughs> oh, just point out the moon and sun in the sky at all times at the same time and ask her what's on the other side of the globe. <laughs> okay. All right. The sun's not in the sky all the time. All right. Sometimes, wildly, it's nighttime, at which time the sun is actually on the other side of the earth. <laughs> and what do you mean what's on the other side during the daytime? Oh, my friend, were you not taught about object permanence? <laughs> Please. Just start with this. Looks pretty flat to me. What? What? Do you mean their logic is very flat? I don't know. Their logic seems pretty circular to me. Globe-like, in fact. <laughs> I would like to teach my kids about summer solstice from a biblical and flat earth standpoint. Anyone have any good resources on this? Having difficulty finding sources that support your thinky thoughts on the world, your perspective, it might be a sign that <laughs> you might not be right. And maybe that should be the thing that tells you, maybe that's not your speciality that you should be teaching your kids. You know, this is just an odd, it's an odd combination of thoughts. <laughs> I did this with my kids. All right. <laughs> maybe I'm the odd one. I don't know. Why? Why? Why are you? T okay. All right. Open mind. Let's make it to the end and then we'll have thoughts. <laughs> I suggest you take them out of public school if you already haven't. My child would not learn anything from a science teacher and my child hasn't learned any math skills as well. Uh oh. <laughs> this is one parent you can't count on because of the lack of math skills. <laughs> they want you to teach your kids stuff like that, but we all know it's baloney. I suggest you teach your kids only religion and nothing else. Okay. Is it satire? It might be. I don't know. But I know that when my brain saw baloney, it went, no, OT, don't read it as balogna. Don't read it as balogna. It's baloney. It's baloney, not balogna. And then as I'm reading it out, I was like, balo oh knee. Baloney, I, mm, a kid at least need maths. <laughs> For anyone who's leaning pretty hardcore into the flat earth side of things, I do want to bring up something that's kind of amazing. I, I don't know if you know who Carl Sagan is. I very much recommend reading his books, but he had this amazing scientific conversation about how to prove that flat earth wasn't really a thing. And this is from quite some time ago. This is pretty Bill Nye the science guy, if you can believe it. <laughs> this is kind of amazing. I love this so much. And you can show even your most grandparent of grandparents this. And they'll have a good understanding of it after this point. Just get ready. So right now, with the cardboard that he's showing, the Earth is very flat. But with these two obelisks, what he can do is show that with the curvature of Earth, how the shadows will change. So just get ready for that. It's really cool. Now, if at a certain moment, each stick casts no shadow, no shadow at all, that's perfectly easy to understand. And the shadow at Alexandria is the same length. That also makes sense on a flat Earth. But how could it be, Eratosthenes asked, that at the same instant, there was no shadow at Syene and a very substantial shadow at Alexandria? The only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. 
I recommend checking out the entire clip. It's absolutely phenomenal. I also love that it's very hands-on and kind of an experiment that anyone can do as well. They can <laughs> they can phone up a, <laughs> they can phone up a relative in a different part of the country or a different part of the world and be like, "Hey, how long is the shadow on your side of the world today?" <laughs> and then they can do this math or the science experiment themselves. It's kind of cool. Yeah. In other words, science rules. I'm one of those double-ended power crystals for his birthday, Dr. V. How you kids doing out there? Are you still in Davis? I would like to request an 8x10 photo of you in a bikini so I can see your body. This says it's from Dad. Ah, which I totally approve of. Belly button ring was the beginning. Lol, ha ha. <laughs> I don't trust that. <laughs> I don't trust any of the types out. Lol, ha ha. Lol's enough. <laughs> Remember when your chicken wings were on the Today Show? I was so proud and still am. With the context of the rest of this image, it seems like chicken wings might refer to their uh, their arms rather than a food item that they had on. So I really... Uh, I'm uncomfortable with so many things in this. And it seems that whoever the OP is as well, because they screenshot this and then posted it to r slash insane parents. So, <laughs> what do you mean an eight by 10? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> this is no joke. Harp weather manipulation is not a conspiracy theory. Katrina, 829-2005, famously the only storm that happened that year. Gustav, 829-2008, yet again, another series of years with only one storm between them. <laughs> Isaac, 829-2012, Harvey, 829-2017. Ida just around the corner. Sir, do you think that maybe we should pick a slightly different date so that no one catches on? Gary, I've already set the machine. I don't want to change it now okay sir good point <laughs> is that is that honestly what you think's going on <laughs> you don't think that if this was harp controlled that they would have picked slightly different days of the year to do random storms on and why the gap in years why the phenomenally odd gap in years between these very big storms please you're telling me how horrible i am and i've been trying to do everything right so i can see how i'll help so do you everything right is taking out your anger on me when something doesn't go your way i don't know where it's better <laughs> oh please and you're the adult <laughs> Oh no. Or yelling in the car because I was honest with the psychiatrist about how I'm a terrible child. That's everything right? You're a narcissist. I don't know what you mean. I brought you a cup of tea, which obviously writes any possible wrongs. I brought you a very insignificant bribery. What do you mean I don't have full free license to do whatever I want? I'm an adult. <laughs> We can do this. We can get through this. <laughs> I really empathize with kids that have to be the adults in this situation when they themselves are still learning how to be adults. Sometimes parents really do not put you in the easiest of circumstances, but I know if you approach things with a level head that you can prevail. You can get through this, and after a few years, you may be able to develop a stronger and healthier relationship once you're finally able to leave the home, as you'll be able to cultivate an adult to an adult relationship rather than parent to child, which can come with a lot of conflict. Things will get better. You've got this. Mommy. <laughs> Voicemail and text. Hey, Lou, it's mom. We haven't heard from you all day. Unified Gamers Online flight 200 miles away from school. No idea what's happening with you back at school. If you don't call me soon, I am going to send the tracker out for you. Okay, I will call the police, so you better call me. The cops, I can almost understand where the parent's coming from. What is the tracker? What is sending out the tracker in addition to the police? Um... <laughs> Your kids at university, let them do their thing. They might just be in classes all day. They can't call you back when there's exams or something. Maybe cut them some slack. Maybe don't send out Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> I see. Grow the fudge up. Stop blaming your parents for how you turned out. You're grown now. Your mistakes are your own. Grow up. <laughs> this is a wild perspective that I know many 
boomer mindset types definitely maintain for themselves. But let's do some simple arithmetic. <laughs> if someone is stuck at home from the ages of 1 to 18, yes, at the point of 18, they're technically an adult, but they possibly have been under the thumb of a very restrictive parent until the age of 18. So yes, while at that point they are an adult, at what point between the formative years of 1 to 18 have they been able to learn the coping mechanisms and skills to dodge all of the bad parenting they receive? Maybe the only time that some people have to learn these mechanisms and coping skills as an adult is when they are an adult. And you should just chill out, you know? <laughs> Grow up is such an umbrella term. And boiled down, it can just mean, I don't want to deal with you. And that is not a burden that you need to own. That is someone else letting you know their limitation that is not your limitation. Regardless of your age, you're still going to be remembering things about how you were brought up. And sometimes that can mean that you do need to learn how to get past certain things. Even as, wildly enough, even as an adult. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't mean you failed. That doesn't mean you're doing badly. Everyone has those moments and everyone has things that they need to get past. You've got this. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos. Normally at the end of videos, I try to give better advice, but my brain has been turned to mush after reading all of these different posts. <laughs> so I think this is going to be where we end it. All right, my beardos and weirdos. Thank you so much for checking out another video. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. I'm kidding. I mean, you can do what you want. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. Whoa, flip. Whoa, whoa. What the fudge? What the absolute fudge? Whoa. Nope. Nope. Nope.